If you've ever played the classic game Super Mario 64 on the N64, you might have seen this part, where you're running up what looks like a very long set of stairs, only to turn around and realize that you're still at the very bottom. What makes this extra effective, however, is the anxious repeating melody in the background, spiraling endlessly upward, but seemingly not getting anywhere, just like Mario on the stairs. This is a pretty advanced application of what are called shepherd tones, and we'll see later how something like this is made, but let's first start with the basics and build up to it. The most fundamental definition of a shepherd tone is just a sine wave at a particular frequency, with another sine wave stacked an octave higher. You can also continue stacking octaves to get a richer shepherd tone. Okay, so to make things exciting, we need two things. First of all, we need the pitch to rise, although you can also make a falling version. So we can play a major scale, for instance, with each of these sine waves an octave apart. And secondly, we need some volume automation. What makes this illusion work is the fact that the top notes are disappearing while new notes from the bottom are appearing as the different octaves wrap around, just like a musical barber pole. So what that means is that the top line has to gradually decrease in volume as the notes go higher, while the bottom line has to increase in volume. As you can probably hear, it sounds like it's perpetually rising, but actually your ear is jumping from focusing on the fading high notes to the incoming low notes instead, so you end up where you started. Kind of like walking on a set of Penrose stairs, which should actually be named the Rotisvord stairs after the Swedish man who discovered them, but I digress. When we use shepherd tones to play scales like we just did, it's called a shepherd scale instead. Okay, so we now technically have all the ingredients we need to make something like the Mario Endless Stairs theme. So let's have a look at how it works and the extra tricks composer Koji Kondo uses to make the illusion more effective. The tune is based on a rising three bar chromatic melody, which sounds like it was inspired by Ligeti's appropriately named The Devil's Staircase. It's got four octaves of synths layered up, with the lower synth gradually fading in and the higher synth gradually fading out, just like we explained earlier. The chromaticism really helps here, because it helps break the expectation the ear has for the root note, so the beginning and the end of the melody loops becomes a little more blurry. The overall structure is three groups of these three bar melodies before it repeats again, and this longer cadence helps to disguise the loop a bit, compared to if it was trying to loop every three bars for instance. There is also one more synth which doesn't play the melody, but instead accompanies the piece with some pretty dissonant chords. This has the job of adding movement and context to the melody. But also, the lack of a traditional chord progression with a satisfying resolution really adds the feeling of the endless loop, since the ear can't really identify a final destination for the sequence. So those are the fundamental concepts and extra tricks used in the Mario Stairs theme, but we're not done yet. There is arguably a more useful illusion related to shepherd tones that we have to cover. So up to now, we've been using discrete notes in the form of a shepherd scale, but composer Jean-Claude Risset discovered a version now called the Shepherd Risset Glissando, which uses a continuous gliding pitch instead. This is potentially more useful because you're not constrained by scales and the glide makes the whole thing feel a bit smoother. But also, you aren't constrained to musical instruments. It's possible to continuously increase or decrease the pitch of any sound, even if that sound isn't from something that can traditionally play notes. One of the most famous examples of the rising version is the Batpod engine sound from the Batman movies, where it sounds like it's changing gears without the pitch of the engine dropping down. And a great example of the descending version, albeit in a musical context, is actually from the song The Dead Flag Blues by Godspeed You Black Emperor.
I've heard a lot of people mention Dunkirk when talking about the Shepard Recycle Sando, but I don't actually think there's a proper one in the movie, and it uses something more insane called the Shepard Risse rhythm, which is the same idea as the glissando, except with rhythm instead. But I think that's for another video. So if you want us to cover Shepard Risse rhythms, or you want to tell me where in Dunkirk the Shepard tones are, then leave a comment down below. You can watch more of our videos over here. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, and a Discord community where you can come and talk about music. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Mixed Signals. Bye-bye.